Harrisburg Stampede, Justin Coble with I gotta him. change the freaking... Oh, there it is! Basically, they were it's playing Major League, League the, re the real game, yeah. Oh shit, there's the Hattie. All right, welcome back to the second half of the show here, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed those Do ads. you just become Canadian? No, why? It just sounded like you say, you know, folks. Like you just had that like northern uh, Canadian. Uh, did I pronounce accent did I right pronounce there? the L in folks? <laughs> um <laughs> We're gonna do some uh uni watch news here today. Um first off, um as a longtime reader of Uniwatch, and I didn't get to this in our last episode, uh well wishes to the creator of Uniwatch, Paul Lucas, and his retirement from writing for the site. Paul started it in a New York City magazine back in in 1999, 2004. It became a, an article on ESPN's page two on ESPN.com. And then it became its own freestanding website in 2006. And Paul is, I mean, any of us who read you know, watch, we read it because of Paul's writing. Um, he passed it off to the weekend editor, Phil Hecken who's taken over and I mean, it's the, still the same old site, but you know, Paul really created the site and created the, the, you know, watch community. Um, so well wishes in your retirement, Paul, not that you listen to this podcast, but I just had to say it because I'm a big fan of the site uh, and a car carrying member, as many of you know, um, one of the last car carrying members, cause they're not doing it anymore that Paul has left. Um, but with that, what do you want to start with, David? Because I, I think there's one that might enrage you, and there's one that will for sure enrage me, and then there's one I'm kind of on in the middle of the road on. Okay, well, I have a feeling I know what's enraging you, and you know what's going to enrage me, so let's just start from the top and go from there. How's that? All right, that I works. Feeling that, I have a feeling this is just not going to end well to begin with, so either way you look at it, whether it's you ending it or me ending it, it doesn't matter. Well, let's let's start easy and light. Let's go with uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates ad sleeve advertiser is sheets. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of on uniform ads. We've had this discussion with the NHL. We've had this discussion with MLB. However, even though I'm not a fan of it, I can appreciate it when it makes sense for that team and the locality. Just like I think UPMC is for the Pirates, and that's University of Pittsburgh Medi Medical Center. Sheets is a West Coast, is a Western PA, I should say, Western PA gas station food market chain that many of us in central Pennsylvania are well aware of. This makes sense for the Pirates. And have visited at midnight, one o'clock. Yes. <laughs> Seen a former friend very drunk buy a case of Aquafina and not share on the ride home and snuggled with it while drunk. Um, so yeah, that was bad. He, here's my issue with, with ads on, on uniforms. I get that they need to stand out and they should be in the business's colors. I think it throws off the flow of the uniform. This should be in the pirates' colors. Yeah. If you want to do yellow and with a black font and a black border, that's fine. Uh, I don't know. It just, it, but it the thing pops is though, with too sheets, much. You need the red. But the thing is, though, Sheets has that red in it. And so you kind of have to have that because it is their colors with it. And yes, I agree to have it as, like, try to have it as close to the, uh, uh, see, it's cl uh, close to the pirates' colors as possible, right. but how can you really do that when sheets is you know the main color of sheets is red? Right. No, I, I I get it. I'm just that's that's my hang up, not not anyone else's. Uh, for the record, they have now joined twenty other teams who have ads on their uniforms the remaining teams who do not are the a's cubs mariners nats rays rockies twins white Sox, and our beloved philadelphia phillies um there's a push now on the philly subreddit to have wawa as the phil's ad sleeve to combat the pirates having sheets as theirs why can i see that 
<laughs> I mean, like you said, like you said, <laughs> it fits. Like you said, it, it would fit because Wawa is an Eastern PA thing. So I could see that. But I said that about the about the Phillies Reddit. The very first comment from yesterday at 11 a.m. on Uniwatch is, I guess this mean wa- this means Wawa has to advertise on the Phillies now. The convenience store rivalry is bigger than the baseball one at this point. <laughs> Which is true. The Pirates are not quite at the Phil's level and haven't been for a while. Uh, when the hell did they put right. Wawa in Harrisburg? They're trying to. Oh, no, Hamburg. Well, okay, that's Hamburg. Never mind. I, no, they are I trying re- to put one in Harrisburg. They bought, they bought the property that Haas sits off of 322 in Hummelstown. Oh, okay. I know where that's at. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I know where you're at. Wawa did not catch up to Sheets in, in, in the right amount of time. They kind of drug their feet on expansion. And I get it, they don't need to expand. But Sheets is legitimately taking over Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... So Wawa's got to do something. Um, not that we're here to talk about gas station hoagies. Um I will say Wawa has good iced tea, though. I'm not going to lie. Their iced tea is pretty spectacular. Yeah, I stopped, um, there, right. on, oh, I stopped there on Thursday when I had to go did down get, to. I didn't get an iced tea. No, no, I no. Did, did you get um, that pizza you were talking about? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. I did get <laughs> Island Pizza, yes. But I did uh, at Wawa's, I did get a breakfast sandwich. It was a egg sausage and cheese on a waffle. It was nice. a waffle sandwich, and that was delicious. I've had one before. They're they're very good. Um, oh, they're dangerous because you can eat a couple of those and not. It's like yes. But anywho, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get to the piss offering now. Um, piss offering. I just love how you just kind of sweet, you know, squeeze into that. <laughs> uh, like ten pounds of sausage in a five pound casing, brother. Is what if your is. brother's listening, he's going to love that because that's one of his favorite sayings. Mm-hmm, um, I've heard is. him say that hundreds of times over the years. Um, yeah. They've released the All-Star Game caps, and they're god-awful. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and if you look at the photos, and I'm sure you have, David, since I sent the link. I'm looking at them now. Is it just me, or does the Orioles one look like back in the day when you had the television and you could mess with the colors on the television? It looks like you're at that that end where, where everything's a weird shade of red and blue. Uh, give me a second. I don't think I got to the Oilers one yet. It is the, the second one in and the top row of, of pictures of hats. Top row of pictures of hats. I'll do this. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. I got you. So they are. Oh, I see it. I see it now. I went I went right by it. I went right by it. Yeah, that does look like where you got to like sit there and try to screw with the 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 picture a little bit. (laughs) Like eh, not just right. Just kind of like, okay, and uh, no. (laughs) Yeah, that just. No, these are not good. These these are just they're terrible looking. I don't know what's worse. The NLs or ALs. The National Leagues, I, they're not great, but I feel like they're better because the black offsets, offsets the, the blue colors a little more. Yeah, where the tan just kind of makes it like like you said, a TV set that needs to be adjusted. And that's, I think, with every of, the, of, of all the hats, it's just the Orioles one is the worst. The Orioles one is hands down the worst. I'm sorry, O's fans. You're having a good season, but you don't have a good all-star game cap. No. Um, I feel yeah. like the National League stand out more because they don't, like the Marlins cap works with those colors because those are already the Marlins colors. Yeah, that um, works. 
And most of the National League teams are just a letter or a couple of letters. Yeah, I mean. Now you scroll down and the workout caps look really good because they use the team's colors. Those, yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah, I mean, you can tell Baltimore's hat is is an actual Baltimore hat. You can easily tell that where the other one's like, what am I looking at? Now, I will say, while I wouldn't wear the Phil's All-Star Game hat, I do like how the A's All-Star, or the the workout day cap looks for the A's. That works with their colors, that forest green and yellow, or gold, I should say. Um, I think that works spectacularly. Yeah. I like how that looks. That That is a sharp hat for those teams' colors. Um, That might be the only one out of all the workout day caps that looks really good though i mean um, the workout day caps for the pirates it looks like it's <laughs> at, at first glance it looks like it's missing a color but it's the yellow's that light yeah and it's the same thing with the brewers too um it's like that color yeah. that like like wait a minute they're missing oh wait a minute no they're not they're right there and the padres even too i just i don't know man i don't know what what new era and MLB and MLB and Nike and MLB and Fanatics are are thinking with a lot of are they the uniform moves they have made this year is how are I they thinking it. though are they oh they're I mean, thinking but but they're not thinking about fan enjoyment they're thinking about dollar signs and yeah. making money I mean um, like we said the AL hats for just the game look horrendous the the NL one actually can get away with it just because it. Like like we said, the you know the black part offsets you know everything else. The so obnoxious not, colors. <laughs> yeah. Where the AL, it's like I'm not sure what you want to call that. I, I don't know what you want to call that. Now, uh, nat- uh, let's, ugly. Ugly. Maybe? Ugly is a good term. Ugly is a very good term. Um, I mean, I mean, we're still waking up. I haven't had a coffee yet to kind of get my ass in no. gear. Now, last I checked, speaking of the All-Star game, not only was Bryce Harper of our Philadelphia Phillies leading for first baseman, he had the most votes of anyone in the National League. Ah. Not not just first baseman, the entire National League. Bryce Harper had the most fan votes hey. so far for the All-Star game. Um, I think he found his home at first base. I think he did, too. He's transitioned. I mean, granted, everyone says it's an easy position to play, but you have to be pretty mentally sharp and into the game to be a very good first baseman. You're the first place everybody goes. So it's like you got that was, you know, you know, that was an argument. A lot of us, myself included, had against Reese Hoskins is that he made a lot of simple errors in the 2022 playoffs that cost the Phils runs. So as much as everyone's like, oh, I miss Reese and Reese was great for the clubhouse. He was not great defensively and Bryce earned that spot. And unfortunately it was Reese's to lose. Um, I'm very happy with Harper at first base. And I read, uh, I want to say it was on ESPN. One of their, cause you know, I have ESPN plus, um, one of their guys from ESPN plus, said how it's it's good for the sport of baseball that Bryce Harper's at first base because you see him more in every game than you did when he was a DH or he was in right field. Yeah. And plus at first base, I feel he just fits more <laughs> defensively. Like he's made some hellish plays at first base when the ball's hit directly to him. Oh, dude, that one last year, his first game at the position, and he dove into the freaking um, dugout for one. I'm like, dude, do not injure Especially yourself. with his elbow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and that's when he was just, what was it? It was He was just coming off of that, too? He, like it he, was his first, well, he was DHing. This was his first game playing first base. Um, but let's move on to our final piece of Uniwatch news. And it's a or, little old. The Utah Hockey Club. What the? Hold, now, hold on. The voting ended two days ago, so we don't know for sure the name yet. 
Um, but at it the time of this Utah release, club. at the time be. of this release, the Is Utah that... Hockey Club. <laughs> I just can't. That. I mean. <laughs> It, it sounds like a like just a clubhouse, not even like an actual hockey team. It's more like, hey, come on over, join our club. We have, you know, yeah, come on. The fees are this much. It's like, come on. I don't know. I... Well, what? this doesn't say too much about Utah. Um but their this, name will be the Utah Hockey Club for their inaugural season, according to oh. a local a local Salt Lake City newspaper. Why? Hey, Utah Hockey. Hey, come join. Watch the Utah Hockey Club. I get in 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 soccer and association football. That, um, you know, the whatever football club, like, I think there's what Salt Lake FC or whatever. That's a typical name in association football slash soccer. This is an atypical name in in Mm. hockey. Their minor league team has a better name. The Tucson Roadrunners team does have a, have a better name. The Tucson Roadrunners. I mean, the logo's even better. I, I just, I just, can't. I just, I just fucking can't. I'm so disappointed right now. So I was hoping something like, like what what there was. What were they? They were the blizzards. There's a few other ones. I know we voted for blizzards. Yeah, I liked I liked the blizzard. I thought that was a good team yeah. name. Um. <laughs> Apparently, nobody else did. Oh, there goes our record of stuff happening that we vote for and say. This is one of those times where I feel like the ownership should listen to the fan. This is like. Not that I'm a Dave Matthews Band fan, but this is like when the Dave Matthews Band won the fan poll for the Rock Hall of Fame back in 2020, and they didn't get in. It's like, listen, you have a fan vote for a reason. Listen to it. But why? Just because it's just because it's not your cup of tea doesn't mean that it shouldn't be. If you, if you have a fan poll, listen to your fans, because guess what? They're the ones buying tickets for your games. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I just, I mean, the jersey's just going to have Utah across it. That's all it's going to have, Utah. It's very imaginative. imaginative. You know, it's, uh, a it's black like, jersey with Utah in white with powder blue uh, outline, and then a white jersey with Utah in black with a powder blue outline. I mean, it, it's just like New Jersey jersey. Like, yeah, no but that was jersey. an alternate. That yeah, was no, an but, alternate. But still, that one was bad, though, too. But this, I just, Utah. And, you know, we wouldn't I mean, be in this position if Arizona had competent ownership at all throughout yeah, the Yeah, if Arizona didn't run. get their head out of their ass, that'd be great. <laughs> if they made payments to their arena on time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's basically what it boils down to, if they did. But they didn't, so, well. You know, at the time, Coyote said, screw off. I... Oh, shit, that's hilarious. I, n- I never realized that the Coyotes farm team were the Roadrunners. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. That is great. <laughs> that is amazing. Well played. The Coyotes did something right, at least. <laughs> that is fantastic. I thought you knew Bravo. that. I, I never you... knew that. No, that is great. <laughs> that is that is fantastic. I love that. The, the Tucson Roadrunners. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> we, 
bears Warner <laughs> Brothers to like snatch that up and make jerseys. Good lord. All right. Anyway, you would kind of think they would. <laughs> that is that is fantastic. I love that. I mean, it's it's not going to exist anymore after this season, but I mean, who knows? It still might. That's great. That is that is great. Because they do um, no, play they'll, the... maybe they'll be the Tucson Hockey Club to follow suit with the with the the NHL franchise. The Tucson Roadrunner, you know the Utah Roadrunners. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since we sufficiently pissed David off, um, let's let's get into to plugs. Call this a day on the second half. We'll get into plugs here. Good morning. Uh, At this point, like, good lord, that's one way to piss off a day. Uh, How'd you start your um, day? I started my day pissed off because Utah didn't name their team. They just called them a club. <sighs> oh, boy. Um, Anywho. Let's let's give a shout out to the 2216 podcast, which our good friend Dave is one of the hosts of along with his friends, Greg and Jake. They are all small town uh, fire chiefs and they talk about their, their life and times as first responders. Uh, you can find that wherever you get your podcast. The other ship is the pop culture podcast with a pro wrestling lean. You can find them wherever you get your podcasts as well. Uh, thank you for joining us for this episode of the non their sports podcast. You can find us online at our Linktree account. The link for that is always in the description of the show. Uh, you can go to our Tee Public store where we have tons of really fun merchandise. Um, since we've been talking hockey, we have an NHL parody logo with our information with our initials on it. Um, pardon me, I had to burp. My apologies. Not that you any of you heard it, but I had to do it. Um, <laughs> You can so, watch us on, on so YouTube. Is that not a fart? Well, if you can't hear those, they're violent. Um, Pretty much. Also in the description of our show is the link for Fans Idea and the link for our Ballsy account. Uh, if you are into grooming yourself down there, Ballsy got you covered and we'll get you 10% off your first order. Um, it's not all f- our fault if you cut yourself, though just yeah no that's not that's us. user error not us um user error. <laughs> that is an id an id, ID 10 tier <laughs> All right, with that, you can find another sports podcast for streaming or download at Spotify, Apple, Podcast Addict, iHeart, wherever. I mean, if you're listening to us right now, you know how to find us. Yeah. Um, it, it struck me in the middle of that that it's stupid that I say that every episode because if you're listening to us, you know how to find us. Why am I telling you how to find us? Um, yeah, we need to do more morning shows. I'm a whole different character in the morning than I am at night. Um, with we're that, just trying not... something new. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're seeing what sticks to the wall here. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. Um, with that, I'm Jason. I'm David. Uh, we will talk with you next time, and do not forget to uh, wrap your sprout instead of pulling out. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.